What is going on, everyone? Commodore Last here today, bringing to you guys my live reaction to Jutsu Kaisen Manga Chapter 108. Now, the chapter has finally come out. Shout out to the Visual Course providing chapters week in, week out, because performing God's work as they should be. And guys, the excitement as a Jujutsu Kaisen fan is through the roof. Of course, anime adaptation in the fall. The manga is just going crazy. I've been seeing so many people uh, just slowly like catching up to the manga and everything because they want to experience the greatness that I've been preaching literally since Chapter 23 when I started covering the manga. Um, if not week in, week out, but at least whenever we were getting translations before Viz uh, did the Lord's work. And I can't wait for this chapter, man. Now, Beto was putting on a clinic. My guy is an animation fan. Let me put that into, into perspective because the guy was out here talking about frames and 4K and all that. And I know he was probably shooting on a certain AMV community and everything. But regardless, I need to see what's going to go down this week because after what had transpired, the Gon had used like his domain expansion, placing El Beto in like this beach territory thing. But in my mind, I was thinking to myself, it reminds me so much of the place that we saw where Mahito, Geto, everybody was at before. And I remember that one girl that was there that we didn't get to see too much of, but we think that would be of importance. Um, if that was the location of where they're at right now, then I'm worried a little bit because we don't know what could transpire after it. But if it's just that, like, you know, his territory put him some kind of different world, I don't know. But for me to find out, got to read the chapter. So without further ado, let's get into it. Chapter 108 of Jujutsu Kaisen. Let's go. All right. The Shibuya Incident Part 26. So see Maki, Nelbito, and then of course Nanami, and then right there, we got the man himself, the gun. Domain expansion, Horizon of the Captivating Skanda. Now I think this is like for for um I could be wrong, correct me in the comments. But I think Skanda isn't it supposed to be for like the uh, Indonesian like culture, like you know, the uh, like the Se Sevena, like the gods and that kind of stuff, like in the um, in the Hindu realm. I could be wrong if that's if it's um, if that's the one I'm thinking, that's not it. But if it is, or whatever it is, just comment down below. Because that's like the every time I see that name, I'm always thinking of that. All right, so Maki, wait, they got hit, bro. So as he got transported, wait. They got tagged. Wait, so Maki got tagged in the, in the in the midsection, not only in the shoulder, and all three went. Okay. And you see like the fish thing right behind, like a curse, like a piranha thing. Gak, 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 gak. A shikigami. That must be the domains can miss attack. I didn't notice it until it hit me. No, it didn't exist until it hit me. I knew it. This guy's different. Yo, Drunken Kung Fu! Secret Art, Falling Blossom Emotion. And he has the white eyes with the smoke coming out. Oh, that's it, man. Now Beats about to come in there and, and run amok. Falling Blossom Emotion, an anti-domain technique passed down in the big three Jujutsu families. Unlike Simple Domain, it doesn't expand its own domain. Falling Blossom Emotion. So, oh, okay, so the mist came in. Instead, it counterattacks with curse energy the moment the can't miss attack makes contact. I've seen enough. I'll focus 70% of the power to the mustache and 30% for the suits. Okay, then using ooey ooey the thing. So, okay. It's gonna, it's gonna be one of those things I really like pay attention to afterwards and stuff how it works, but okay. Technique release. Yo, hold on. Wait a sec. Yo, he meant just something like a whole bunch of like different like creatures from the deep sea. Death Swarm. I mean, true to Cthulhu, bro. Maki, the Shikigami won't come straight at us. They'll just instantly eat us alive. Don't think I've, uh, don't think. If you feel you've been hit, attack without hesitation. Since you have already, since you have almost no curse energy, it's the only thing you can. And it grabs him right away. And you see like a whole bunch of them just going over right, trying to gnaw at him. Not at me. You see, Mount Nobito looks like he's trying to go after some of them too. This ain't good. The force of the Shikigami isn't slowing down at all. Could it be the technique connected to this domain is... And he just swung at him. Cthul bro, I was going to say Cthulhu, but the guy comes in swings. And he just goes right through the um, the trees and stuff in the uh, on the beach and shit. The Shikigami were blocking my view. The sea. It's the source of constant life. And he just goes from behind. Oh my god. Okay. Curse wounds right now. I'm not, not looking too bad. 
Death Swarm is an endless stream of Shikigami, and it looks like you going to get like a whole bunch of like almost like in a um, little formation there. And you see Makiri there, you're the weakest here. And as he just comes in, like almost on the turn, as her shoulders being gnawed at, and it comes in with the right, and sends her right through the damn forest. If you're gonna call me weak. You better kill me in one hit, you damn octopus. Let's go, my king. Listen, you don't got cursed energy, but you got hands yourself. Let's go. Then I shall grant you the same fate as the other two. Damn it. I knew I should have put up with, uh, met up with Megami first. No, I should have just taken it, taken it out without warning, uh, without waiting for permission. It'll be shred to pieces. You know, you're really. Sp oh, and she got the, the, well, the, the big dung chucks and stuff as well. Special gray curse tool, playful cloud. You know, you're really such a cocky brat. Yo! Wait, let me see this for a sec. So he interfered, but he got there. We don't know for a fact he got there and everything. And was able to throw the nunchucks in there so she could have... Bro. My boy. My boy. Let's go. And it looks like the thing just disappeared after too. Unless he's still there. I have to... We're going to have to... When we get the next chapter, we're going to have to see. Because I just saw the chapter ends right there. But... Yeah, I have to imagine though... No, he had to invade it. Because I'm pretty sure even with the domain expansions, you can invade someone else's territory after the fact. But still. Look at me go, man. That's my top one. That's my top one. But man, say, yo, I got you. Gang sign. Throw them nunchucks, bro. Let's get it. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Yo, this Maki Masterclass, bro. I need that. Put the gun on a poster. And then if Nalbito literally puts you in a poster, it's over. Oh, my God. Yo. Why do these chapters go by so fast, man? The action is... Oh, man. <sighs> I mean, the whole explanation and stuff that we got to with uh, Nabito's abilities and stuff, the whole 70-30% of, like, the uh, domain and everything, it's going to be one of those where it's going to take some time to really, like, get down. But even then, man, the guy the guy has his own thing going on for him. The Death Swarm look absolutely nice. Like, just seeing a whole bunch of them going down and attacking. It's almost like, you know, like a... Um, it's like a homing missile, essentially, of just, like, a bunch of fish. Just coming in and just like attacking like the people. And of course, you know, Maki doesn't have cursed energy. It's tough for her to be able to like dodge some of them. So she's getting like directly attacked by them. But even then, not only getting touched too as well, but like, Jesus Christ. That, oh, wow, this double sprinkle is crazy. I still get broken. Mirror show card. So it tells me too at the same time, Megami's nowhere near potentially in, in, uh, in any area that might have Toji come in. Because if this pops comes in afterwards, I need that clash. Even though I, it's it's a good chance that uh, Megami will probably get bodied, but I would love to get that confrontation if it happens. But it shows that you know they're a lot more farther away from each other than we anticipated. So get you kind of throwing a curveball a little bit in that um, in that part. So, but still, man, <sighs> bro. Yeah, I can't. I can't wait, man. Maki will do crazy, bro. They got them big nunchucks out here. Ain't no, bro. The gun. You better watch out. Special grade curse, bro. Like playful cloud, man. Jesus Christ, the shot went by too fast. You know what I'm saying? The action was really, it really went crazy. The explanation of the start was fine, but still, man. But this is okay. So that's crazy to me because. This isn't the same place then that uh, Ghetto, Mahito, and all of them were at. I could be wrong, but it would have to be the same domain. Like the same place that they were at whenever they had the conversing meeting when they first met Mahito, Chung on the, like, the beach uh, chair and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 
if it isn't the same place, then like where in God's name, like their local, their HQ, wherever it may be and stuff, you know. But I would have to imagine it has to be. I don't know. Like I'm looking at the scenery and stuff. It, it's t it's tough to tell though. But I guess that's something we're gonna have to learn later on when we get from like ghetto or you know the curse that's inside of him and everything, uh, from there. But man, like, this is a good chapter this week. I mean, really fast in terms of the action, everything we got here. Of course, Megami coming in at the last second to help out Maki. Now Bito showing some new stuff for him as well. But the God is showing that he's kind of a threat too, in, in the form of being a cursed womb. So. Um, but yeah, good chapter this week. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know how you guys feel too about the whole Nabito explanation and stuff. If you guys feel like it was easy to kind of like comprehend and what was going on with it, or if it's something that you need to see like a few more times when he's actually using it in battle to kind of get like the, you know, the idea of like how things are working out. Um, how do you guys feel about the whole stuff with the God too, showcasing his abilities? Do you feel like he's like on the same level as the likes of Choso and them, or he might be actually a little bit more higher considering he's more like a natural Cthulhu, like demon thing and stuff in comparison to Choso. Um, let me know how you feel on that. And of course, you know, just seeing Megami come in, helping out Maki. Does Will Maki play this huge of a role that we think right now? Or is it something that we believe now Bito, Nanami are going to have to be the ones to take out the gun? Because if Maki pulls this off right here, that promotion's basically guaranteed. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. If you want to be part of the weekly experience when it comes to my coverage, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen week in and week out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell, Shandora, so the day when everything goes on the channel. And with that being said, I will catch you guys next week for chapter 109. Hopefully, it is the Maki Masterclass. If Megami is still in the area, if not, he's just providing the nunchucks and stuff. Which for me, it's like how if that was just the case, and it's like how would he know their location and stuff unless he saw the domain from the outside and everything? But I guess we're gonna need an explanation afterwards when we get to the next chapter. Regardless, see you guys next week. Jujutsu Kaisen greatness. We move. So Commodore last signing off. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care.